Hi, my name is Tamar Gaylord. I'm senior designer at Forbo Flooring, and I'm very proud to present to you the next generation of Marmoleum. The biggest change that we've done for the upcoming era is to not go from a global one large book, but we split it into four separate books that target specific audiences. So you don't have to go through many, many pages, but you can go to the part of the collection that you understand and can use best for the project that you need. So we're creating a collection for a global market, which is extremely exciting, but it also makes it complicated because every country has their own colors they choose and different application areas. So first of all, what we have done is we've looked at the sales statistics. So you can see that in 2007, for instance, the beige and the warmer neutrals did very, very well. And then if you look at the statistics of 2012, you see that grays have done really well. And for instance, this lime green has really come to the forefront. And if you look at the individual uh, countries, you see that, for instance, Japan has a very different color range and a softer marbling than, for instance, Canada, which tend to be more of a natural uh, habitat that they have in their interiors. And France has more outspoken colors. They have a lot of grays as well and, and warmer neutrals, but also very, very outspoken color choices. Then what we've done, too, is we've visited about 150 architects to get feedback of what architects need in the in the future so you can see that for instance uh, someone in the corporate world might need to have a lot of neutral floors with accents and someone maybe in another segment might need to have more uh, brighter colors so we've taken all these uh, this information and, and uh, uh, bundled that uh, what we did ourselves too is to see this is the whole collection and we saw that there were holes. So for instance, in the taupe mauve area, there were holes or that really, really dark saturated colors that were missing. So we worked on that. And we took all the information from all the architects, all the uh, designers internally at Forbo and other people in the industry, made a whole uh, map of the colors and then came up with uh, the color choices that we wanted to make for the new collection. So this is our trend book, which is the backbone to the design studio that helps us think about current collections and collections in the future to bring on the market and how we can do that and the things we need to consider. And this is the marble part and it's a big color bank. It has 90 colors and it's three different marblings. You have a lighter marbling, a lighter marbling, a classic marbling, and a very, very rich, heavy marbling. Is that this is the, the linoleum cookies. This is the base of the linoleum. You can see it's quite yellow. And what we try to do is see if we could uh, put pigment in it and, and cover this, this yellow to see if we could achieve the whitest white. So now we have a, a white that's the whitest white we've been able to have today in linoleum that was a special request, especially for hospitals or, or other areas that wanted a, a white in the middle of buildings where there's not very much daylight, so it's very bright. Um, we've worked very hard on this, this range of taupe colors, so a, a brownish gray, and they're as neutral as possible so that they can go in different light circumstances. For instance, in Scandinavia, things tend to look a lot bluer than they would look in Italy, where the color of the light is much warmer. And also, in uh, daylight, you have very different light than in uh, interiors in, with uh, artificial lighting, which can be warm or cool as well, which affects the colors. So we're making kind of chameleons in our neutrals, as, as neutral as possible, so that they will be able to play into different circumstances where our linoleum will end up. Um, we also tried to work on, on pastels. So we have uh, new, fresh pastel colors trying to get really, really rich, 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 deep colors, so as saturated and, and dark as possible. So if you look at this green, for example, which was very high in our sales statistics, 
that I just showed earlier. Uh, we've developed this color further, so you have a lighter, a light, more lightly marbled version and some other colors and, and deeper, richer steps that you can combine with that. And green also has many, many, it's a very uh, broad color on the spectrum, so there's also um, some more natural colored greens we've added to the collection. We also have our, our vivaches that we've um, are celebrating the Vivace structure, which has eight colors in it, which has a lot of contrast between light and dark, and people enjoy the Vivaces because you can pick up colors and combine it with other interior products easily, and it also is quite a lively structure that hides dirt. So now we have 90 colors, a whole color bank to choose from where there's a multitude of possibilities that can be chosen with lots of warm and cool neutrals and bright colors and deep ones and pastels so there's something for everyone here. Okay, so this is the solid part of the collection which is very exciting. It's um, by demand from the market, people are very interested in having solid flooring. You see a lot of epoxy resin, you see a lot of concrete flooring, so this is our answer to that. Our first linoleum, if you look back to 1920, was a solid linoleum, and this is a book from our archive. It's our heritage, and we were inspired by the colors here and translated them into this range. So you can see, for instance, this is a Berlin red, which is a red from the 30s that is used in historical buildings. But it's also just a, a very organic red that has been around for a long time. It's also kind of a brick red. And there's new possibilities with, with uh, making whiter uh, linoleum. So we have very pastel-y colors to bring it into this century. So it's a marriage of the past and the future in one palette. Here we focused on very natural colors, very contemporary neutrals. So they're, they're grays with little steps to green or red. And this whole, whole palette has, has a vein in it, so it has a bit of an excitement and liveliness to it. And so they appear to light up almost. There's a lot of things going on in the lighting industry at the moment, and we wanted to have some sort of linoleum that seemed like it, it lit up. And these colors combine very well with the, the colors in the, this palette, but also with the solid colors. They can work extremely well and make exciting floors. So this is the pattern part of the collection, which is a very easy to use collection. <clears throat> it has grays with different speckles, larger scale than smaller scales, with white and black or gray that all can, can be combined. And it also has the possibility for a kind of solid look with a light two-tone speckle. You can choose out of a, a range of four steps of cool grays, four warm grays, and then there's saturated bright colors, pastel tones, or darker, more muted tones. So all of them can be mixed and matched, and you can't go wrong. So this is the linear part of the collection. It's a collection we looked in our archive, and we found a pattern that we used from 1928 until 1960 and we have reintroduced it. It's, it's a linear pattern, and it can be played with um, using the direction. So it's a two meter wide material, and you can cut it up and play with the direction of it. It's been so popular that we've introduced it in 18 colors now. So we have a whole breadth of cool neutrals and warm neutrals and uh, warmer wood tones. And then we also experimented in the pilot factory to see what we could do extending this collection in a kind of a surprising way. So we've mixed very, very, very bright colors and white and put it in the, in the machine. And we came out with this almost oriental rug, very surprising piece that you could use as a very bold accent in a large office space if you wanted to. Mm -hmm.